Howdy, Trey here with Permian Exotics. Today we're going to be building a bioactive arboreal tarantula enclosure. Let's get started. So this is what I'm using. I'm utilizing Permian Exotics Silver Blend, which is perfect for tropical animals. A couple of pieces of driftwood, some sphagnum moss, leaf litter, and some live plants. First thing I'm going to do is create a false bottom using aquarium gravel. This allows excess water to drain through the soil. Next, I'm going to take a piece of landscape fabric and use that as a substrate barrier. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going to start adding some of my substrate. Silver is comprised of my 50 mix sand, bark, charcoal, as well as some sphagnum moss. It provides the perfect substrate for all moisture-dependent and tropical species. Obviously here I'm using it for a tarantula, but one could easily use it for dart frogs, tree frogs, anoles, crested and gargoyle geckos, even leeches. And while we're on the subject of geckos, one of my goals is to eventually do a large morning gecko colony. And of course I would use my silver blend for that. Now I'm adding those pieces of driftwood to the enclosure. I'm positioning them so that it creates sort of a space behind the wood that the spider can utilize in the future. I'm going to include two plants in this enclosure. The first is Schifflera aboracola. I'm just dipping it here in some rooting hormone before I plant it. Ideally, transplants should be rooted prior to doing this, but I'm confident in my substrate's ability to maintain the proper moisture levels. That being said, what you do with your enclosure is what you do, and do so at your own risk. The second plant is Peperomia atusifolia variegata. Now that's a fun one to say. All right, let's try this out. I'm in the middle of planting a Peperomia obtusifolia variegata cutting in my Pisletheria ornata enclosure. Wow. Now I feel pretty accomplished. Now I'm adding sphagnum moss to cover up my substrate. I do this for a couple of reasons. One is aesthetics, and two, it holds humidity and moisture at the bottom of the enclosure. Now I'm just adding some crushed up leaf litter to the top of the sphagnum moss. It makes things look a little bit more natural. Here I'm adding springtails in a water dish. We're almost done. Just gonna give everything a quick spray down, make sure everything's moistened up, and we're almost ready to go. And here it is. Here are a couple of photos of the finished project. I think it turned out pretty well. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you've been considering going bioactive for your animals, please reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. At Permian Exotics, we build bioactive from the ground up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.